A popular game day snack is getting pricey. The cost of chicken wings is way up and local restaurants are feeling the heat. That's raising rates for customers and changing some menus. Tom Durian live tonight outside a popular wing spot in Walker's Point with what you need to know about wings right now, Tom. Yeah, Steve, if you like wings, you've probably been to Stenny's if you are a wing connoisseur. The owner tells me they were just getting over the COVID slump and then they had the worker shortage, which continues on. And now, yeah, chicken wings are in short supply. We've had this problem in the past around Super Bowl time. It usually goes up a little bit. It's never hit this price before. Whether you're serving them up from the deep fryer you know, I've been doing this 25 plus years and I have never in my life seen wings doing what they're doing. Or selling them raw, chicken wings are hard to come by right now. I've been raising my wing prices every week for the last five weeks. Because they are in demand and hard to get, Tower Poultry says the price of wings went up 14 cents a pound last week and they anticipate another hike this week. They're changing so often, they just leave the board blank. I mean, people come in to look up there at, you know, and they'll say, oh, wings, uh, where are wings? <laughs> you say, I just got tired of climbing up there to change? Yes, yes, my arm was getting tired. Over at Stenny's Tavern and Grill, a social media post today got a lot of attention. They're known for their 75 cent wing specials. They've canceled that, limited the number of wings that people can order, and have adjusted pricing. Our wings are going to be market priced, so it's almost like seafood now. So every week it's going to change. I'm worried about what our loyal customers are going to think. But it seems wing lovers are a pretty loyal bunch. We caught up with Michael. First in the oven, then on the grill. Who says he's willing to pay whatever it takes. I'm buying them anyway. They're good. They're great. Oh, well, they are good and great, and these smell really good. Uh, nobody that we talked to tonight couldn't get wings. It's simply really this lesson of supply and demand. So what is driving up all this demand? Well, of course, people love chicken wings. They smell good. And also, just like the worker shortages here at some of the restaurants around town, some of the chicken processing plants are also having worker shortages as they start to get back online post-COVID closures. Reporting live here at Walker's Point, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. It's time for time to stop smelling those swings and have a little snack, I think. <laughs> Taking a closer look now at food costs overall. Meat prices went up the most in 2020. Beef and veal 10%, pork 6%, poultry 6%. Only fresh fruit went down in price by 0.8%.